Hi everyone, my name is Nikki from HealthNet Nutrition and today I'm going to be showing you how to organize your kitchen cabinet. I'm sure like most people, um, your kitchen cabinet, I mean if you're buying stuff in bulk, if you're buying all those like health foods like the chia seeds, the flax seeds, you know you need help organizing them. It, they can quickly add up and make quite the clutter in your kitchen cabinet. Um, I'll show you a quick picture of what mine looks like before I started organizing it, and I'll insert that here. So if that's kind of what your kitchen cabinet looks like, then this video will be very helpful to you in helping to organize your kitchen and just give you a more relaxed, cleaner environment, you know, when you're cooking and you're baking and not having to deal with all that clutter. Okay, so the products we're going to be using today to help us organize our kitchen cabinet is the mason jar. I'm sure you've heard of these, they've been around for years, um, most of the time they've been used for uh, jams, like the smaller ones, and uh, you know, you can buy them in bulk and they're really inexpensive. I bought about uh, I believe it was 10 of them for seven or eight dollars less than eight dollars um, but they're very inexpensive and they're great for organizing so we're gonna be using these mason jars today to organize our kitchen essentials that way they're just easier to grab and get when you need them in the morning lunch or afternoon so let's get started <laughs> Okay, so I'm sure a lot of the products that you're buying at the health food store or the bulk store are going to come in bags like this one here. Um, this isn't the most attractive thing in your kitchen cabinet. Um, it's hard to tell if you lose the tape what it even is. Um, these bags are just plastic. They're not the best for storing, um, you know, chemicals can leach into your foods. This one's actually kind of broken, it's leaking a bit on my hand. So that's another reason why you don't want to keep your bulk items in those bags that they that you buy them at the store with. Um, I've also bought in, I went to a health food store and got a couple mixed teas that I want to make a blend with. Um, these are another great way to kind of store them because I'm going to mix them all together anyway so the mason jar is a great way to do this. I also have this bag here which I just opened. Um, this one here is just some organic kumit and uh, this is another reason why like once you cut this bag you either have to roll it up, put an elastic band on it, sometimes it opens up and rips all the way and it leaks out onto your cabinet and it just makes a mess. So, um, and sometimes this can just be stored kind of hidden in the back and you don't even know you have it and you buy another one and you're just wasting money and wasting space in your cabinet. So pretty much I'm just going to take, take this bag here one of my mason jars and make sure when you get your mason jars that you wash them thoroughly in the dishwasher or by hand and let them dry completely. You don't want any moisture in the mason jars. So I just don't want to spill this everywhere. Hopefully you can kind of see. I'm just going to empty it right into the jar. This probably won't fill up because it's kind of a small bag. Okay, so I got the double lid here. We're going to put this small one on top. Put it on the big one, okay? So now you have a nice seal tight airproof um, container for whatever grains, seeds, berries, dried berries, whatever you're putting in here. It's a great storage idea. So I'm gonna be using this label maker. This one is by P-Touch90, I believe that's the name. I will link it below if you're uh, interested in getting a label maker. These are really good for organizing your household. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is turn it on. This one here is Camit. So I'm just gonna type in, as you can see, really simple. Okay, and press print and it's just going to print at the top there and I'm going to cut it this one is just a little sticker making sure it's straight to do a face down so now that you have your labeled mason jar you can see what it is when you're looking in your cabinet or you're doing your grocery list for the week, you know exactly what you have in your kitchen. So I'm just gonna quickly finish up all the rest of my cabinet because I have a lot of things to jar up and label, and then I'll show you the finished product and how much better it's gonna look. I'll show you the before and after, and you can really see the difference it makes in your kitchen.
Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you tried out any of these organizational tips, then please be sure to hashtag it healthnet on Instagram or Twitter so I can see a picture of your organized cabinet. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Please leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below and I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!